Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to add a great looking animated social media pop up right into your stream or even for use in some of your other videos. And it's going to display all of your different social media networks. It's going to take us just a couple of minutes and this can be used for your Twitch, Hitbox or YouTube gaming streams in both XSplit and OBS. Let's get right into it. So I basically created this social media pop up for my own channel, but I decided to figure out a way that I could share it with others. If you follow my instructions in this video, you should have no problem getting this set up. It currently supports Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Tumblr, Patreon, and PayPal. However, I might even add some in the future, so let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see others. All right, so to begin, go to the link shown here, and you can find this in the description of this video if you need. I don't want to spend too much time talking about what you're seeing exactly, but basically it's the code that makes this pop-up work. However, I set it up to where you should be able to customize it with your own information and enable or disable any networks of your choice. Just follow these instructions. Let's start by hitting fork. This will create a new pen or a new set of code for us to edit and that you can save yourself. What this means is that you're basically making a new URL that you can save for yourself and that you won't need the URL that I used in my video to create your own social media pop-up. The first thing we're going to want to do is update this to use the network name or addresses of your social media. And I want to let you know that you only need to change the networks that you're going to be using. It's extremely important to leave the formatting of the code exactly how it is. So if you make a mistake or things aren't working properly, just refresh this page and start again. All we need to do is replace the word change this in between the quotation marks with our own network names. As long as you only change the word inside quotation marks, everything should work fine. For example, I'm going to change change this for the Twitch name to nerd or die. I'll set the Twitter name to at nerds pwn, and I'll update the Patreon section to nerd or die as well. Once you've updated all the networks to your own, it's time to enable or disable the networks that we're going to be using. By default, all networks are going to be enabled. So scroll down a bit and we'll see this is where you enable or disable networks. A one means that it's going to be enabled, where a zero means it's going to be disabled. So for my example, I'm going to leave Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon at a one to keep them enabled. And then I'm simply going to change the other networks to a zero to disable them. Finally, the last thing we can customize are the time. There are two different times, one that is for the amount of time that each social network displays for, and then another that is the delay in between the full cycle of all the networks that we have enabled. So the first time we can update right here, and by default, it's set at four. This means that each network will show for four seconds on our screen. I'm going to leave it at the default value. The next time represents the amount of time the animation will pause after it cycles through your networks. This number is in seconds as well. By default, it's set to 120 seconds or two minutes. If this is too short, you can change the number to something like 900 seconds, which will make it display every 15 minutes. Or if the pause time is actually too long for you, then just drop it to 60 seconds or a minute or whatever works for you. Once everything is customized to your liking, Make sure to first hit save and then what we need to do now is click the share button at the top of the screen and then click export.zip. This will download a zip file with all the files we'll need. And the reason we're actually downloading this file or these files onto our computer is because I want to make sure that you have everything stored on your computer in case this website isn't working or maybe it's going slow. And then that way you don't have to worry about it when you're trying to make a video or trying to do a stream. So anyways, I'm going to open this uh, zip file in WinRAR, which I use for my computer. And now I'm going to make a folder called social pop-up on my desktop. You can put the folder wherever you'd like on your computer. Now what we need to do is drag and drop all the files from the zip folder into the social pop-up folder, or if you know how to just extract them any way you'd like. Finally, let's add this into OBS and XSplit. For OBS, what we need to do is make sure we have the CLR browser plugin installed. 
If you don't have that installed, you can check out my video, which is linked in the description below of how to set it up. What we need to do is first get the file path for a file called index in our social pop-up folder. I should note that sometimes there can be two files named index that will be in this folder. And we want only the document that is an HTML document. We do not want the XML document. The easiest way to get the file path is simply double click the index file. This should open it up in your web browser, such as Chrome, Firefox, or Internet Explorer. If for some reason it doesn't open up in your browser, then just simply drag the index file into your browser like so. Now, all that we need to do is copy the address found in the address bar. Then with OBS open, let's add a new CLR browser source. Once you get this up and running, go ahead and paste the file path into the URL section. And finally, let's change the width to 470 and the height to 60. And that's it for OBS. You can hit preview and see that it's working. And then you can stop the preview and restart it if you want to reposition it or quickly restart the animation cycle. You can then use edit scene to drag it to wherever you'd like and set it up in your scene. For XSplit, all that you need to do is hit add media file and then find the social pop-up folder. Now let's select the file named index. Don't forget that sometimes there are two files named index in this folder, but if there aren't, then don't worry. We need to make sure to select the file that is an HTML document, not the XML document. Once the index HTML file is selected, hit open. Sometimes my XSplit file took a bit of time to load up, but if this happens, just wait a couple of seconds and it should appear. We can now move the pop-up to wherever we'd like it. Also, if you'd like, you can go back into the settings of this source, and then you can go into layout and then change the width to 470 and the height to 60. Okay, and that's it for this video. I know this was a bit longer than some of my other episodes of Stream Tips, and maybe even a little bit more advanced, so I really am looking for your guys' feedback if you like this type of video or not in the comments below. If you also have any suggestions to make this process easier for yourself, make sure to put those there too. Uh, if you use this in your stream or your videos, please let me know in the comments below also. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you really like the video, then make sure to subscribe for more from Nerd or Die. Thanks for watching.